Hi everyone, welcome back. For today's mani, we're going to dip into some new powders that are coming out from Sundara Nails. Now this trio right here is going to be sold individually in colors and as a trio. And this one right here, it is called Love is the Only Way Trio. So it is filled with beautiful pinks. So we're going to dive into all three of these colors in this trio so you can really see these colors in action and how they perform and to see if a color is going to be right for you. So before we dive into these colors, I went ahead and did a little bit of color blocking there on that one accent nail. And I just used that regular 3M tape and then I used a little silicone tool just to make sure that tape was laying super flat. So we're starting off today with the gel method and we are using the gentle base coat from Sundara Nails. It is a gentle Hema 21 free formula and we are starting off with Love is a Friendship which is a beautiful pink and I really like this pink because it's more of a muted like hot pink which I love so much. So you're going to be able to rock this color even for like Easter coming up. I think this would be a great one. Um, this would be great for summer. You're going to be able to really wear this one all year long because it's such a great toned pink. So we are going to build it up today with two coats. So do not let that first coat fool you. We are really going to amplify this color here with that second coat. So I'm just doing very thin layers of gel base coat over the entire nail and then I do not cure it. I will go ahead and dip it into that cupcake liner. So one of the reasons why I like to use a cupcake liner versus dipping directly into that jar, when it comes to the gel method, you just want to make sure that you have enough room so you can really dip that nail into that powder to cover it completely without like bumping that nail because since it is gel, if you do bump it, you are going to leave like little marks on that area that you bumped. So you can see here with that second coat, this color, it is everything. Thing. and it is just the perfect all-around pink color and it pairs perfectly with all the colors that we are going to be using today in this trio. Now the trio that we're using today is not releasing until Thursday, January 11th at 10 a.m. Central Time. So you're getting a little sneak peek of these colors in action. Now if pinks are not your cup of tea, there's also another trio and that is called Who Needs Love and it's filled with purples. So that is just a really fun twist on Valentine's Day. It's kind of like your anti-Valentine's Day trio. So you have like best of both worlds. So we're just pulling off that color tape here. And you can see here with that 3M medical tape, it really just comes off easily. And I just wanted to crisp up that line ever so slightly. I mean, this is a total optional step. So I'm just gonna go in with a file here and just kind of clean up that line for a more seamless like transition between the two colors that we are gonna be implementing in this color blocking today. But again, this is a total optional thing really just preference I just wanted that line as straight as possible all right so now we're diving into another color here it is beautiful it has like the most like perfect sparkle to it and it has the most beautiful pinkness to it and also it has some little hidden surprises there are heart shaped glitter and lip shaped glitter in here as well to make it extra fun for Valentine's Day but I am going to focus just on the smaller pieces of glitter today and then a different day I will play with those other shaped glitter pieces um, but I wanted to keep it a little bit simple today for the look that we are going for because we are going to be playing with another glitter that has some bigger pieces so I kind of just wanted this one to be like that more delicate finer pieces of glitter on these nails but overall so fun whatever combination you come up with with this duo you cannot go wrong all right so enough chit chat let's dive into these beautiful colors and then i'm going to pop back in in just a few moments <music>
losing my job over you, but I don't care about that. But I got you close and kind of hoping that one day we'll get the rhythm of it. Yeah, 'cause no one knows if we're just jumping out the window trying to cling on to it. You got me holding on to something I know I can't burn me down, but I don't care about it 'cause I. In the dark, like we do. I just love the way it feels. Yeah, I know it's bad, but I can't resist. When I look in your eyes, I don't know what is real. All I know is that I could go anywhere, anywhere, as long as you're with me. Oh, I'm drunk and I know it, but. So I'm just placing a few more pieces of glitter here on this nail. I love the undertone of this color. Now to absorb some of that gel base and just to add a little bit more extra sparkle here and pull in more of that peachy beautiful color. I'm just going to go ahead and take this brush here and then gently tap it all over that nail. And then once it is completely covered and we have absorbed some of that gel base, I'm just going to go ahead and gently press these glitters down just to make sure everything is laying super, super flat before curing. I did the rest of the glitter placement off camera on that pinky nail just to save some time. And then we're going to go ahead and file and buff. Now filing and buffing, it's going to be my same filing and buffing routine when it comes to press-ons. I'm just focusing on filing on the underside of that press-on and just making sure I'm cleaning that up of any dip powder that may be underneath. And then I'm just going to gently reshape. I did the rest of the filing and buffing off camera. And then to seal on this mani today, we're going to go ahead and do a layer of gel base on all the nails. And I am using that same gel base. It is that gentle 21 free gel base formula. If you've ever had a gel sensitivity, definitely recommend giving these a whirl. And then I am going to cure as we go on each nail and finish up the rest of the gel base off camera. Then to seal on this mani and to give it the perfect shine, we're going to finish up with the gel top coat from Sendara Nails as well. It is that same gentle formula. And then I am going to cure for a full 60 seconds. And then here's the finished mani. I love this so much. It's kind of like a play on, it's reminding me of like classic Valentine's Day colors because you're pulling in like these soft pinks and we have this like beautiful peach and then we have that glitter which is just it's so whimsical and just beautiful and depending on what way the light hits it it has like this like really awesome color shift to it I overall love it so much we kept that color blocking nail super simple you could add some nail art tape to it you could do some gel polish on there as well to kind of definitely separate it a little bit more but I really love the simplicity of this mani on its own and the color combination it is everything so you could take different parts of this trio you could use two colors you could use all three like we did today you could even use one options are endless when it comes to this trio plus I feel like it's a great transition into not only Valentine's Day but it's great for the spring season that is coming up as well all right so everything that we did use in today's video can be found in that description box below I hope you enjoyed this simple dip powder mani featuring the gel method and I'll see you all in the next one